You have to have six pack abs, the perfect butt and arms. Perfection is the goal, right? Or is it wrong? What is perfection? I'm gonna talk about the biggest myth in health and fitness right now and what is perfection. And by the way, perfection is contextually based. What is your definition of that? Is it being movie star ready, like Magic Mike, something along those lines, or the cover of a fitness magazine? Perfection is relative in the eyes of the beholder. You are perfect. And I'll tell you what, let's talk about perfection and how you can set realistic goals. Perfection is the goal. As I said before, it's one of the biggest fitness myths out there and walking around with single digit body fat numbers. Well, one thing, we can't do that. We can't sustain those body fat numbers walking around. It's not even healthy. We need some fat on our bodies to maintain proper body functions for our brains to work effectively. And if you're a woman, to have a normal menstrual cycle. That's right, you can stop menstruating if your body fat goes too low. And as someone who's helped many celebrities reach what you would probably think of as physical perfection, I'll let you in on a dirty little secret. They don't walk around looking like that. Nope, I get them in shape in a certain amount of time so they look a certain way in a movie role or on, on the TV screen and generally their bodies don't look like that after that, all right? It's a snapshot created, lighted, and edited to sell you on something. It's part of those celebrities' jobs. Someone like me is hired to prepare them for a role, award ceremony, movie, photo shoot, anything like that. And I'm paid to dial in every single aspect of their lives, from their habits, to their workouts, to their lifestyle, sleep, nutrition, supplementation. And here's a little secret. Sometimes I even put them in contact with the right doctors to prescribe them exactly what they need or the perfect potion, right? That will get them in motion. And usually this is a mix of specific supplements, peptides, testosterone therapy, and other not so mainstream things that are generally extremely expensive and that the average individual, probably such as yourself, won't have access to. Their physique is literally the only thing that these celebrities are focused on for several months on end, okay? They've got all sorts of help, including myself, nutritionists, chefs, everything around them. Now this is all done to prepare them for that perfect moment in time, whether it's that photo shoot or movie role. The rest of the year, they really don't look anything like that, but people all over the world hang those perfect pictures on their mirrors and refrigerators as gold bodies, right? A visual reminder of what they want to achieve and what you want to achieve. That one picture perfect moment in time lives on forever in people's minds as they want to look like that or, or maybe even better. And what is that, right? Now, let me tell you this. You cannot look like anyone else and anyone else can't look like you. I hear this all the time. I want to look like Brad Pitt in Fight Club, Brad Pitt in Troy or some other female, right? Tell you what, Brad Pitt can only look like Brad Pitt. Joey Thurman can only look like Joey Thurman. I can't look like you. Our bodies are completely different, right? So let's be aware of that. Now we all have different lives, metabolisms, limb length, medications were prescribed miles we've put on our body, microbiome stressors, um, life stressors, endocrine fluctuations, need I go on, a bunch of different things that are going to dictate what you look like. Now, does this mean that you can't uh, lose weight or add uh, muscle tissue and look great um, in the perfect pair of pants, whether it's several sizes down or maybe in a, a tank top? I, I like tank tops, by the way. No, you absolutely can do that. But you need to be realistic about your goals and doing it in the proper amount of time with your lifestyle and stress factors. So what we're talking about here is being reasonable, goal setting. So they're not your, so they're not comparing yourself to the standard of a body you saw in a magazine and feeling disappointed if you're anything short of that very specific and again temporary aesthetic goal and body image. Now that type of disappointment is discouraging and can lead you to give up before you even start or had a chance to make real tangible progress. So how do you set realistic expectations of yourself so you don't get discouraged? Well, if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. You can only look like you and you can't look like anyone else. Your goals need to reflect that. There are in fact different body types that are in some part determined by your bone structure. Uh, for example, the length of your legs, uh, the, the width of your hips, 
the length of your torso, curvature of your spine, etc. We also tend to store fat in different areas and somewhat it's relative to hormones, but somewhat it's just genetic. Some people store fat in different areas relative to other areas. It's good or bad depending on where it's stored. Some people will store more fat in their midsection while others will carry it maybe in their arms. And your hormones also play a role as stress-induced cortisol, estrogen, progesterone, they all can affect distribution as well as testosterone. How much testosterone do you have? How much muscle tissue you can you put on? That being said, claiming I'm just big boned is not necessarily a valid statement. It's true some people have larger built frames, but most of our weight comes from soft tissue, being fat, muscle tissue, and everything else organs as well, right? And not the size of our bones. So when setting goals and expectations, you need to take into account everything that I mentioned in this video. Some of it you can proactively manage like your stress response, your cortisol levels, and uh, maybe other stressors outside like people that you don't wanna be around. Get rid of them, kick them to the turb, curb, right? Um, especially the things that go in your mouth, your workout habits. Uh, and some of it you can't control and you need to be aware of that and accept it. Like maybe where you store fat. A weight loss journey, a muscle building journey, a health journey needs to be part uh, of body acceptance and awareness. So there you go. That's the biggest myth I could tell you about. You are only you, unless you've got an identical twin, nobody else has your exact body structure. Set those goals, be realistic, realize it's going to take time. Rome wasn't built in a day, neither was your perfect birthday suit. I'm Joey Thurman, thanks for being here. Follow me on all social media channels at Joey Thurman Fit. Subscribe to this channel and check out all my other videos. Cheers and be well.